All right, in this video we will practice using the change of base formula to uh, evaluate log expressions. So problem number one, according to the change of base formula, this is going to be the same thing as log 11 over log 7. So I can simply put that in my calculator. Okay, so that's log 11 over log 7. All right, so that's going to be the answer. Um, let's see, how many decimals do they say? Nearest thousandth. That means three decimal places. So let's see. So we need to cut it like right here. Okay, so the question is, am I going to round up or leave it alone? Well, the next number is just a 2, so I'm going to leave it 1.232. Okay, so that's the answer to number 1. All right, does that make sense, Jacob, buddy? Okay, so now I'm going to just do the same thing like over and over again like 20 times. So this is going to be log of 41 over log 6. Just put that in your calculator. Log 41 over log 6. Okay, 2.073. Number 3. This will be the log of 4.31 over the log of 6. Zero point eight one five. All right, number four. This will be log 42 over log 6. Two point zero eight six. Number five. This will be log three point one over log six. Point six three one. Number six. This will be log one point nine over log three. Point five eight four. All right, number seven, that's going to be log 44 over log five. Two point three five one. Bless you. Um, number eight. That's going to be log 4.7 over log 2. Two. 
2.233. Number 9. Well, this will be log 33 over log 6. One point nine five one. All right, number ten. And this will be log fifty four over log four. Two point eight seven seven. All right, number eleven is slightly different. Um, it's talking about condensing to form a single logarithm. Well, first of all, these all have like denominators. Okay, so I can keep the like denominator and add up all of these things. Um, but the sum, like if I do log base 9 of x plus log base 9 of y plus log base 9 of z, well, that's just the log base 9 of x, y, z. Okay, so, so far we have that. Okay, let me clean this up a little bit. Come on, eraser. All right, but this is the same thing as having like one-third um, log base 9 of x, y, z. So um, when you're condensing, you can take this number in the front, this coefficient, and you can make it become the power. So this would be the same thing as the log base 9 of x, y, z to the 1 -third power. And you know that 1 -third power is the same thing as cube root. So this is the same thing as log base 9 of the cube root of x, y, z. Okay, so this would be the fully condensed form, number 11. All right, similarly with number 12, these two are the same denominator. Okay, so I can put these together. And I'll have log base 2 of w plus, now I'm just going to put these two together. So I've got my like denominator, but when I add these two together, I can condense these down if I do log base 2 of uv. All right? Uh, addition becomes multiplication. Um, but this is the same thing as having log base 2 of w plus 1 half log base 2 of uv. And again, I can take this number in the front and make it the power. So if I do that, then I've got log base 2 of w plus log base 2 of uv uh, to the 1 half power. Now, 1 half power is the same thing as the square root. So this is the same thing as having log base 2 of w plus log base 2 square root of uv. Now, when you're condensing, addition condenses down to multiplication. So I can write this as a single log. My final answer would be log base 2 w times the square root of uv. So this would be the final answer for number 12. OK, now we are expanding. So it's like we're doing the opposite of what we just did. So see how this 2 is a power? 
I'm um, going to take that and that's going to wind up out front. So that's going to be 2 log base 9 of um, 5 to the 6th power over 2. Okay? Next is going to be time to do the quotient rule. Okay? So if I look at this log right here, All right, just this part, just focus on that right there. If you have the log of a, a fraction, that's going to be the same thing as log of the numerator minus the log of the denominator. Now be careful. You see this 2 out front? It's like distributive property right now. Okay, that 2 is still sitting there out front of all of this. So that 2 is going to wind up distributing into the inside of this thing. So that's going to give me 2 log base 9 of 5 to the 6th power minus 2 log base 9 of 2. So that's what I have so far. But now I have to deal with this power right here. This 6 is going to come to the front as well and to become like a multiplication thing. So this 6 is going to wind up out here like that. So that's going to give me 12 log base 9 of 5 um, minus 2 log base 9 of 2. So that'll be our final answer. All right, last problem. So that was number 13. One more, and we're done. So again, number 14, we got the quotient rule happening. So when you have the log of a fraction and you're expanding, you can break this apart as the log of the numerator minus the log of the denominator. All right, these exponents are each going to jump to the front of their term. So that's why, and this is really going to be the final answer right now, we're going to have 5 log base 9 of x minus 2 log base 9 of y. All right, and uh, so that's it. That was the last problem on this video, on this lesson. I hope it was helpful to you. I will see you on the next video.